Just want to make sure that something went up. Okay. Alrighty then, let's get into it. So I've got my season... Oh, I probably should switch the... Transitions. So I've got a webcam in the bottom right. And it's actually over here. It's my new Kindle. The new the new ones. I got I got the ten inch ones. And um It runs a lot better than the last time I tried to use Android as a webcam. So it looks better. It runs better. Uh, I mean, what more do you want? Okay. Double checking things real uh, quickly. Gonna see if anybody wants to join real quick from Twitter. Meh. Okay. Anyways, where was I? Sorry about that. Okay. So, I started this season recently. I think we're on season 5 in Diablo 3. I got to a lot about level 59 before I stopped playing. And this is a rebirthed character. My my mage that I've had for quite a long time, actually. Excuse me, actually. So, I just want to want to play a little bit with you guys. I... Diablo 3 wizard subreddit there I don't know if there are any new builds on reddit recently I haven't checked in a while um, I know that this season they added quite a few or they added a few sets and then made several changes to existing sets and all of our servers are busy right now thank you reddit thanks thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's to Reddit, not you guys. So... I hope that, that that's smooth. I may need to drop down the quality a little bit. Only so that it can... Record smoothly. So let me, let me do that and see if it helps a little bit. It was a little choppy, not, not horrible, but I just want to make sure that we're good. And that's looking good. Okay. So let me see if I can pull up a, a, a new build for patch 2.4 or season 5. So it looks like Darkway's Season 5 Ultimate Guide with 1 through 70 is still here. It looks like they're working on another 1 through 70 guide or build. Um, I guess I should probably build towards the Death Breath, Death Breath Bounty Farm or the Speed Rift T T10 for now. I haven't... Hmm. 
The build that I went for... The build that I went for last season actually seems to be a good build now. This is a good early build. It is a... Get your Firebird set as soon as you hit 70. However, if you have already... Okay, so yeah. As of 2.4, Season 5, it's way better to just rush at your Firebird set as soon as you hit 70. However, if you have already used your Hadrix Gifts, then this is still the best building gear for, build gear for you. Well, I haven't used Hadrix Gifts, so it uh, looks like we should build towards Firebirds with while using Arcane, the Arcane Disintegrate build. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep the webcam silver. It's just a test. Part of me does, part of me doesn't. I mean, it's just a Kindle. If I had a real webcam, I would expect that the delay wouldn't be that big of a deal. However, I don't have a real webcam, and I don't particularly know how to fix the delay. So this is just going to have to work for now. <sighs> Energy drink is delicious so yeah it looks like i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be using arcane disintegrate for now i think i'm gonna be building towards fire rasha or fire birds it looks like fire rasha is a good death's breath bounty and a speed rift t10 while Firebirds is just straight up uh, Greater Rift 80 plus solo. Looks like the DMO Arcane Orbit, though, is Greater Rift 88 plus. But I've never done Firebirds. So I think that I want to eventually work towards Firebirds. But that requires a whole set, which I simply don't have in the season so let's just work on let's just work on disintegrate then specific pieces of gear consider your consider yourself lucky if you find any of these i don't think i have um i'm also not maxed level yet so what i think i'm also gonna do is work on some bounties because I need to work on getting the five uh, act specific crafting items. So I think that's something that I'm going to work on first. Somebody just followed Lord Monkus. Thank you very much for the follow, sir. Also, how do you guys like my notifications? Up, up, he, uh, wait, oh yeah, there's a delay. Duh, I'm a dumbass. Up here, uh, up there, and the sound effects. That was the s and cow <laughs> from Family Guy. And only because I love, only because I love that sound effect did I use it. All right, so let's actually, let's just break that down, that weapon. Let's not spend the money to take out its gem let's break it down let's get that gem back let's put that into our two-hander let's get a little bit of extra damage going okay let me see i mean i it i'm fairly used to this build because this is the build that even when like i was not really giving a shit about like sets and builds. I just went for this and I just stayed with this for like a really long time. Um, but I kind of want to get into the higher greater rifts. I think I've only ever managed to get to 20 ish, 30 ish. I haven't pushed farther than that, but I did get there with this arcane build. So this arcane build's not horrible. This, ar this arcane build can actually carry you quite a ways, uh, surprisingly. So 
So where was I? Okay. So we have Disintegrate, obviously, which we use the Chaos Nexus rune on uh, to kind of split it. I believe this is... Yes, to split it. Uh, you're not... I mean, it doesn't really particularly matter, but I'm not supposed to really, uh, in this build, use a uh, primary a primary skill to build my arcane power, my AP, except that unless you got a couple of Paragon levels in you, it's really hard to do that at first. Normally, Black Hole will be there, and then the rest of this will actually stay the same, except for maybe a couple of the, the, the rooms, and then, of course, I'll add my, 70, my level 70 passive. Um, but you're not supposed to use any builders with this... Uh, AP builders with this, and then you use a two-handed weapon instead of a staff. Or I mean, you could use a staff that's two-handed, but you pr you try to use the slowest two-handed weapon, which seems counterproductive. But maces are usually the slowest, but they also have a higher attack power um, per per capita. I guess capita is not the word proper word, but it. You get the analogy here. Um, and the reason that is, is because when you're channeling disintegrate, you're channeling. You're not actively swinging. Uh, so when you're actively swinging, you want things to be a little bit faster. But when you're channeling, you're going to constantly be hitting because you're channeling, not because you're swinging. So the slower it is, the less AP drain you have, meaning the longer that you can channel. Uh, the slower attack rate doesn't necessarily make your channel slower, if that makes any sense. So you want a slow and heavy but powerful two-handed weapon when you cast your uh, Disintegrate. So let's see what the game gave me for bounties today so we're in the chapter four do i have the fourth no i have act three and act five good i need act four crafting materials so let's go ahead and do the bounties here and find the portal to the blighted sewer whoops okay so my rotation is barely is barely basic actually um this build it doesn't require a lot of attention or a lot of like active maintenance uh or even like a bunch of buttons being pressed at once i just keep a hey, level 60 i keep uh the familiar with arcanaut on and while the familiar is active with arcanaut I generate 4.5 arcane power every second, and then my fam the familiar attacks for 240% weapon damage as arcane. So since I'm arcane based, this makes sense to leave it. Um, the power storm armor, power of the storm, uh, bathe itself in electricity, periodically shocking a nearby enemy for 175% weapon damage as lightning. There is no arcane storm armor, but reduce the arcane power cost of all skills by three while storm power well storm armor is active meaning i'm channeling for three less per tick and then magic weapon imbue your weapon with magical ener energy granting it 10 percent increased damage lasts 10 minutes and then i've got the conduit uh rune on it which is enemies hit by your attacks restore up to three arcane power so i can channel as is for a decent amount of time um, and I don't have any Paragon levels right now because I'm only level 60. I need to get to 70 to start getting my Paragon levels. Once that's the case, I can start building a reduced uh, build cost or reduced AP cost uh, naturally. I could also get some gear to help it. And then once I do, I can swap Magic Weapon to give me 20% increased um, damage instead. And then, of course, my runes, Blur, decrease damage taken by 17%. Uh, Astral Presence, increase your maximum arcane power by 20, and increase the AP regeneration by 
uh, AP per second. And then Prodigy, when you cast a signature spell, you gain five arcane power, which I only have because I'm actually using Electrocute. Uh, there are points where I will run out of AP, in which case then I use Electrocute with the extra five AP build on top of it to just kind of get there a little bit faster. And then, of course, Solo, I've got the Templar with me, and then he's got the incre the Inspire buff, which you get at level 20. It increases your resource generation, so I get an extra 1.4 AP per second with him there. So, all with all that said, I don't know if the game tells me how much AP production I have... Arcane Regeneration per second, 18.39, and Disintegrate takes 18 Arcane Power. So actually, just recently, I got it to the point where I can permanently cast Disintegrate and uh, not really have to worry about AP. The reason why AP can become a problem in some instances is when I have to rebuff. So see there, my AP dropped... A decent amount and when I use Frost Nova when I use Frost Nova it will freeze the enemies at least I believe I kept it there uh, blast any nearby enemies with an explosion of ice and freeze them for two seconds enemies take 33% more damage while frozen by chilled or frost Nova frozen or chilled by frost Nova um, so that's a good way to keep, that's a good thing to keep bosses in place and just rack a bunch of damage on them. But when I have to do my full rotation, um, my AP cost uh, can get a little unwieldy. And of course, I don't have Black Hole yet, but when I do get Black Hole, uh, casting that will take a big hit to my AP. So, um... When I start to get some AP reduction and I've got Black Hole, I'll probably keep my extra AP regen on for a little while. And then as I've put a couple of Paragon points into AP regen, uh, that's when I'll start backing off on some of... That's when I'll back off on some of the runes that give me AP regen and focus on damage instead. And uh, but, but, I, but that by... By that point, I'll be able to cast Black Hole and it disintegrate fairly consistently without worrying too much about my AP. I wanted to get to the point where even if I'm casting Disintegrate, I'm actively regenerating AP. So that essentially makes Disintegrate my new quote-unquote primary AP builder. Even though it's not actively generating AP, I've offset my AP cost enough to where that I'm just regening anyways, if that makes any sense to you. I know this build really well, let's put it that way, because I used this build for about a year. I love it. This one's the this one was the most fun to me, and this is what got me back into uh, Diablo 3 a while ago. And then I've just been out of it a little bit. You know, you play the season for quite a few hours or days or weeks, and uh, you kind of just get sick a little bit of it, and you kind of want to go play other things. Uh, but I've been kind of in the mood to play it recently, and then of course George, uh, in my stream, wanted, or my friend, but also in the stream, wanted to see how I play Diablo 3, he also wanted to maybe join me, so, uh, if he's not busy later, maybe we can have him join us and we can go on some greater rifts together? That would be cool. Though I'm not really built, necessarily, for group play, um... He might be, but I don't know if he is. I'm, I'm sure as hell not. But I don't care. I'd still be more than happy to... Uh, excuse me. Get in a group with him. If any of you uh, are watching and play Diablo 3, feel free to add me on Battle.net. I believe... If I can remember what button to press for friends. That's achievements. Give me friends or give me death. Uh, my battle net name is Sentai number 1266. So feel free to add me if you would like to play this or any other game with me on battle nets. Alright. 
So that was a pretty simple bounty. Let's continue on to the next one, shall we? Ah. Hopefully we can find some decent uh, legendaries. That would be awesome. And you can see, too, that I don't necessarily rush the game. I could if I wanted to, uh, quite honestly. I could rush through this and get higher level faster. You know, skip doing bounties. Um, just power level or grind my way up. But I kind of want to enjoy the game. Bounties, I kind of enjoy. Rifts, I enjoy. So, you know, I'm not running through. I'm picking things up. I'm opening containers. I found a surprising amount of legendaries by just opening basic ass containers. So, I try to every so often. I'm also not playing on the highest difficulty yet. Um, I normally play on the max at the time, uh, which the one right below Torment. Um, not Master. The one between Master and Torment. I'm blanking on the name. I usually play that, but I decided to just to play Master because you don't get necessarily that big of an experience uh, gain by playing it, and then the monsters are exponentially more difficult. So I'm just waiting until I can get a, a couple of pieces of decent gear, and then I'll probably pop up a difficulty level. Um, and, and, and see how that fares for me. Right now I'm doing fairly pretty fairly pretty decent. Yeah, apparently words today. They also gave us the different massacre bonuses from the console. So uh, more than ever now, it is also important to string together as many kills as you possibly can. String them together um, try to get as many kills in a row as possible. Group, uh, lead elites and bosses along with you as you kill mobs so that you can hit them periodically to keep your, uh, your meter up. But, uh, you get a really big bonus of experience from, uh, your massacre bonus now that you see at the bottom. Which, I'm going to get a pretty decent one from this. Shit, shit. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad. It locked me. It locked me. Ah. Uh. And even if you're hitting the same enemy, it counts as for the meter on the bottom, too. So, um... That's why I say juggle him and bring him with you. So let's see if I can, if he doesn't, if he stops locking me. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. Come on. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Pan filth pit. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Come on, buddy. I don't, I mean, his, uh, his little, the things that he spawns obviously work to keep the meter up too, but I don't think they count towards the... Uh, the kill counter. Come on. Come on. Hey, shoot. Do, 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 do. Filth pants. Filthy dick. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Keep keep up. Keep up. You're almost dead. Keep up. Here we go. Here's a couple of more monsters. You ideally want to try to get your, uh, your shit, uh, your kill meter up to about a hundred. I mean, if you get less, it's not the end of the world. And obviously 400 is the best. And there are acts and maps that are more suited towards that type of play. Uh, they just spawn, uh, they have a good density and they spawn a shit ton of mobs for you to uh, rack up combos with. Um, but you should, so it's something that you should always try to kind of keep juggling and it kind of creates a cool little meta game if that's something that you're kind of into doing. Ah, oh, shit. 
Oh, goblins. Ooh, lots of goblins. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's this? What is this? What is... What is this? Oh, I found a goblin horde. Yes! Motherfucker's teleporting. Gotta freeze him. Gotta freeze him. Ah! Oh, they don't freeze as easily. Come on, I gotta kill a couple of these guys. Keep them out. Keep them out. Kill them. Come on. This is a horde, baby. Ah! This is a horde. Now, unfortunately, I can't kill as many goblins yet. They they kind of jump in difficulty with lots of uh, health. Uh, but that's a pretty decent amount. I think I killed three or four of those guys. No portal, unfortunately. That's disappointing. Whenever I see a goblin horde, that's what I always hope for is uh, getting a portal. Those portals are are absolutely amazing. Thank you to uh, MTFU Mute. Oh, it's Mute from the forums. Hey, buddy. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So no portal, sad face, but that was a goblin horde, which I are also rare. Goblin hordes are not the easiest of things to get to spawn so that's actually really awesome and obviously you can always find goblins throughout your 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 travels but the more goblins you have the higher of a chance that you have obviously to spawn the portal which is what i was trying to do uh, i just want to i want those portals the greed realm is one of the best things in this game. It is beautiful, you get lots of legendaries, you get lots of gold, and you get lots of money. Did I say money? I said gold, didn't I? Legendaries, gems, and gold. And experience, because everything in there is a, a goblin or like an elite. It's, it's really cool. And the boss, oh my god, the boss is disgusting and amazing at the same time. I didn't really know if that was possible until Diablo. Disgusting and amazing. Also, it looks like we got a sub-quest also, which is also something that's really good to do while you're doing bounties. Uh, if you want to grind, you can probably grind up faster with the combo. But I like bounting and questing more. You know, I end up leveling really fast as well. Just doing that. Bam! All right. Slay Fenric. Oh, hey, that's you. There we go. Freeze him, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him. Go, 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 die, 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 die. There we go. And my follower keeps stunning him, too. He stuns bosses, which is fucking amazing. All right. Looks like I completed that bounty. Let's see if I got anything better. Oh, got some decent boots. I don't particularly need a source because I am using a two-handed weapon. Though I did get a couple of extra two-handed weapons. That you can actually... Well, that's a one-handed weapon, but you can still use it regardless. That right there, that is what I need. It's a mace, and it's more powerful, and it's already more powerful with a gem in my current weapon. So that's... We're going to swap to that. I don't need a bow. You know, um, wizards can equip a surprisingly uh, vast array of weaponry. And uh, you, you can utilize pretty much all of it to your advantage. All right. Bounty kill Azul. Azul? Yeah, I'm bad with names. Whatever. And it looks like I'm broke too. Oh yeah, duh. This is the, this is uh the new season. <laughs> uh, for those who haven't played Diablo three or are interested in Diablo three, seasons are separated from the regular game. They're also separated from hardcore. 
and they even have a hardcore season. So if you've got regular characters that you played with, um, and you go over to the season, uh, you start from fresh. Though, if you've already beat the story, you can start from adventure mode right away. The only time that you can't start from adventure mode right away is, uh, is, um, hardcore mode. You gotta do the story for that one. You suck. Also, who's talk- oh, I picked up a book. I was wondering who the fuck was talking to me. <laughs> Ooh, nice! Death's Breaths. We need those, and as many as possible. You can also use a new shield. That shield is gigantic. Attack them! Don't just stand there. Come on! Okay. Lots of little demons. I think these, these guys right there look a little bit like Diablo. They look pretty cool. I wonder if my bounty will actually take me through Diablo. That would be pretty cool. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Fleeting! So I'm faster. Yay. When you are uh, getting your combo or your, your kill streak up, also keep in mind too that if you come across these... Um, elite mob groups, they give extra experience. And if there are non elite or epic mobs in an elite pack, so say there was a three blues and then a couple of extra guys around them, the extra guys around them, if I learned correctly, should also give you extra bonus experience just for the fact that they're a part of an elite mob. Um, so when you're building up your meter for the experience modifier, you should definitely figure out where... Uh, you should definitely try to find mobs as fast as you can. Obviously, juggle them along the way to keep getting your combo meter up. But, killing them when you have a high meter is uh, actually a really good thing to do. Uh, right now, I'm not too, too worried about juggling my meter. I'm going to get... For oh! I escaped just at the next time. Um, I'm not too worried about getting my meter up right now. I just feel like uh, doing some bounties and maybe a couple of rifts for you guys. It's also weird. I don't normally talk this much while I play Diablo. So it feels a little weird. I did a couple, I did a video series, a couple of video series a couple of months ago. Um, but I just wasn't having fun with them doing the videos, so I just kind of stopped doing it. Obviously, I like to, to play what I have fun with. I think I was also just getting burnt out at the time with Diablo, um, which happens from time to time. Right now, obviously, I'm not, and I am having fun streaming this for you. But how long have we been going? We got about another 45 minutes or so, 30 minutes to go before we switch over to Eternal Felena or Internal Fellatio, because that's what we've named our character is Fellatio. All right, you are the mid boss of chapter four. So eat lightning and ice and uh, arcane. I guess. Oh, some extra help. Oh, what the hell is going on? Am I, am I, I'm stuck! Ah! No, get out of there! Stupid is wool. So I think he stunned me. But, damn it, damn it, he stunned me while he's casting his ice uh, on the ground. And if I get caught in those bubbles, I'll get frozen. Uh, we don't want to get stuck while fighting him. Because then he'll just pound on us like this. On. Oh, and we did get a level up. So that makes three levels up uh, in 15 minutes. That's good. Ow, ow, ow. There's really no good way to, to be in that. And there we go. Fresh static snow. Complete five bounties. Open up the waypoint. Oh, that's a new start. Uh, wasting my time on the years. I don't know where... 
What did I just open up? I have no clue. Either way. Oh, wait. I can just open up my achievements, can't I? Nope. I can't open my achievements. Thank you, Diablo. I wanted to know what you just gave me that notification for, and I could not find it. Good job. All right. Lots of loot. Lots of lots of loot. None of which... Ooh, never mind. I take that back. That I can equip. The rest, however... Not necessarily suitable. So let's head on back to town. Let's degub and head on back out to another bounty. Out of energy drink. But oh well, I got water with me now. All right. Salvage, salvage, salvage. You too, and you too. All right, let's drop all this shit off. Oh, I'm getting uh, marquee rubies as well. That's always a good thing. Because, of course, you want the gems. And these two are the top two that you can find. The rest you have to craft into. The There's like two or three more higher levels than, what's this, than what is here. Uh, but like I said, you got to craft into that. So we'll be doing that later. Actually, you can have those too. All right, Tyrion, I'll shut up. And it doesn't look like, oh, he, they are having me beat Diablo. Oh, we're going to go to the besieged tower first then, and then we'll take on Diablo. I also don't think I'm ready to be using. I don't think I'm ready to be using black hole yet. Am I? Oh, I am. Nice. Though I spell steel, I believe is the one that I want. Let's see if we can run our build right now with out any paragon levels let's see if uh let's see if we can keep our ap can uh, uh our ap up words yeah so besides the cooldown yeah i think we can i think we can do this uh, it's not the proper rune that i've uh that I want yet, but it will, we'll get it in due time. That was my, uh, my, my impersonation of a dying enemy. Good. Good. Should I, good. Should I do voice acting? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, bad joke, but you know, uh, any chance I can get to screech at people is always a good day. And the good thing about uh, Black Hole 2, especially when I get the proper rune on it, um, for every enemy that is caught, damn it, for any, every enemy that is caught in the, the pool of the Black Hole will give me a tick of damage. So I'll get more damage for every mob that I've got caught in it. And then of course it kind of all pulls them together, which then means it makes it a lot easier for me to do watch. Oh, it makes it a lot easier for me to do my ice move. And then now I've got extra damage from super massive black hole or spell steel black hole. And then an extra 33% damage for them being frozen. So that is how I combo wombo with some damage on these bastards. But I don't have the extra damage from Black Hole yet. I won't until... 68? 69. Close enough. I also gotta remember that I don't have Electrocute there anymore, so I gotta stop doing that. I'm just wasting cooldown. You should sell the lower level gems at this point. Not worth combining them to make better ones. Uh, yeah, probably. But, I mean... It's, yeah, probably. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Um, it's not too terribly expensive to combine 
the... It's not too terribly expensive to combine the gems that I... The low-level gems that I do have right now, but I probably will sell them. If only just to keep things simple. But it is also harder to find the right gems you want. So if I have a lot of lower level gems in the category that I want, I may still, I may end up combining them if only to have a couple of extra gems early on in a category that I would particularly find useful. So kill all the enemies. That's all that we've got to do is just kill them all. This is not my favorite one. I prefer when it tells me to go kill uh, a specific creature or do um, cursed shrines or cursed chests. Those are my favorite uh, bounties, especially since cursed chests give a crap ton of experience. The, they summon lots of mobs. You can combo them with your, uh, your death counter fairly consistently. And they usually spawn uh, an elite or a rare mob. And then you get a quest experience for completing it. And then usually a chest or two. So they're my favorite. Resplendent. So no thank you. No thank you. And ooh, I will take you. Thank you very much. Come again. I also keep forgetting that I don't have electrocute anymore. That's getting on my nerves that I keep doing that. I'm also standing in fire. Ooh, these guys go explodey. Uh, yeah. Bye. I kill you. All right. Now let's go to Diablo, shall we? I don't think I've beaten him on this season yet, so I should I still need to do that for this season. So let's get to it. You're just warming up. Good. Cuz I well actually that doesn't really mean shit. You're just you're just talking to hear yourself speak. Also, this has nothing to do with killing Diablo. Kill 100 enemies and kill Horus. However, I should still probably kill Diablo. Like I said, I haven't actually beaten him on this season yet. I should probably go and do that. So where is Horus? They, uh, in one of the, in the patch, blah, in the patch notes for 2.4, they did say that, uh, there's the, the arrow that tells you where your bounty is pops up a lot sooner. Oh, there it is. But it still sometimes takes forever for me for it to pop up. But I think this is a, the latest revision of the, of the patch. Um, I haven't played in a while, so maybe it's been rectified a little bit. I have no clue. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, this is Horus. Oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> he's he's actually dying really fast. Thank you for pulling me out of the way of that meteor. You tell I got teleported the second that meteor fell. And a level 63. So we just need to clean up uh, 32 more monsters. And we finished the bounties for Act 4. It's good too. I try to do my bounties based on what Act has the uh, bonus chest for me. So I'm happy that this came up because I still need two and I, well, I needed two and four, but now I just need two. And the reason why I do it when there's the bonus, 
because you get the bonus chest and the bonus chest has bonus things in it and the bonus things are nice because bonuses are bonuses and it makes me feel good if anybody could actually follow that i applaud you wow i get more damage with this with these than i do with the ones that i have equipped with two gems inside of it but uh, I also don't really need the ones that I have equipped because I don't use Electrocute anymore. So that can get swapped out for the time being. Your deeds should be rewarded. Thank you, Tyrael. All right. Let's see if I get anything fancy. Nice. A couple of books. Those are always fun. No, uh... No legendaries in particular, like a specific, specific weaponry. But I mean, books, books are good. It'll, that'll allow me to create some level 70 stuff early on. If I don't find anything that's level 70 and decent, I can always craft something a little early on to kind of give me that extra oomph of uh, power so that I can potentially go to torment. Oh, I should probably go and degub these. There we go. Level or act four. Crafting materials, which I also need if I want to. I need the those act crafting materials if I want to craft some legendaries early on um, or set items early on. Okay, I don't think any of these are actually useful. I don't know why I kept them. Oh, I kept them so that I could break them down in the cut in the cube. That actually can't get broken down, but these three can get broken down. Because they've got legendary uh, stats on them. And I believe I've got Kanai's cube. Yes. Do I have anything? Shit, no I don't. Okay. What was it to extract? Oh, that was another reason why I needed the act crafting items is to extract legendary powers. It's all coming back to me. And death's breath, but uh, death's breaths I can get from anything. The act items I can only get from actually doing the acts. So, there you go. All right. Act two, please. Two, two, two. No, five. I want to do two, but I don't I want the bonus chest. I want the bonus chest, damn it. Uh, let's... Let's up the difficulty. Let's see if I can deal with it right now. And then if I can... Or... Let's see if I get act two. And if I can up the difficulty and keep it that way. Oh, shit. I am maxed. Why did I think there was one more between Master and Torment earlier? I'm a dumbass. The next one is Torment. I probably shouldn't go up, but I'm going to anyways. Because I'm fucking insane. If I don't... If I can't handle it, I can always just drop down, but, I mean... Whatever. Please give me Act 2. I would be greatly appreciative if you gave me Act 2. No. You didn't. You gave me Act 5 anyways. Look, I need those things. I need to instruct. I need to extract some legendaries. So fuck it. We're doing Act 2. And then, uh, depending on how long this should take, this should be the last thing, roughly, that I do in Diablo 3. And then we'll jump on over to Eternal Felena. It's weird too. I mean, in the first game, there wasn't axe. There was just the one town. So this doesn't hold true uh, for all three games. But the you know Diablo two and Diablo three, the second axe have all. I mean, the first axe have always been the kind of uh, grassy plains areas where Tristram 
and um, the rogue encampment in Diablo 2 kind of took place. I mean, Tristram, rogue encampment, and then in this one, new Tristram. And then, so those have kind of always been the same. And then the second act has kind of always been desert. Really? Is this a quest? No, it's... You're dead. Blackrock Ledger. I don't know what the fuck this just happened. This is new to me. Um, but then Act 3 in Diablo 2, and in this one, are, are different. Uh, 4 is kind of different, though for the most part, you're going through hell. So I guess they're similar. And then 5 in this one, you're going through the Angel Sanctuary. Uh, number five, you were, number five, you were going through the barbarian highlands in Diablo two. And in this one, act three is kind of the barbarian, the barbarian highlands, even more so after they added the new area in act three, where you get Kanai's cube. And it's quite literally the barbarian keep not the exact barbarian keep from Diablo 2, but really similar. So the only places that we haven't gone, and two, we never went to the Angel Sanctuary, at least I don't remember or recall. And in Diablo 3, we never went to the jungle. There's actually a map of Diablo 2 and 3, um, like the changes over time, and then... Uh, the one for three actually places markers where each act takes place. Um, we never just go to the jungle in this one. There's there's never an act or a place that takes us there. And that's kind of sad because that was always the really interesting place to me was the jungle. I remember that act being really short compared to the first two and uh, four from... Act 3, I think, was the shortest in Diablo 2 compared to 1, 2, 4, and 5. 5 was actually pretty long, especially because it was, like, expansion material. So I think that they kind of extended that one a little bit. I don't know. I don't want to say longer than it should have been. But it was definitely, I think, the longest. Um, I just want to go back to the that jungle, especially in Diablo 2. The rumor is, though, is that they're not doing another expansion for Diablo 3, though I would love another expansion for Diablo 3. Up my level cap to 80... Oop, but my mic. Up my level cap to 80 and... Uh, give me lots more stuff to explore. Give me an Act 6 for the first time. That would be pretty cool. Um, and if they do Act 6, they can take us to the jungle. You know, welcome to the jungle. That sort of thing. Um, that'd be pretty cool. And if they do Diablo 4, which is the rumor that they're working on it, that would also be cool. But I don't think that Diablo 3 is dead yet. And if anything, Diablo 3 has grown in popularity, popularity, especially since the first expansion came out. The first expansion really changed the game quite significantly. And then patch 2.0 went with that even further. Yes, another goblin. My luck today is astounding. Uh, so I think they've done a really good job of evolving Diablo 3, and I don't think that uh, the game is quite dead. And then, of course, obviously, they can do it on console. They've got the console side to think about now and everything. I, and I think they... I don't know. I think they should do a second expansion, but I'm probably a little... Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Whoops. So, yeah, I think they should do... A second expansion, but the uh, logistics of that, I admit, might be out of the cards for Blizzard. I don't know. I don't work there, obviously, so I have absolutely no clue. What the fuck? No, 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 Goblin. No, 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 no. Yay, I caught you. No, no, you're going. You're leaving. Damn it. When they When the portal doesn't disappear automatically that means they're going whether you like it or not okay good i get to keep you wow i just got fucked there come on no 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 stay 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 die or die 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 yes 
too bad I don't have the rune for the extra damage of the, um, for my black hole, because then I could actually deal with these guys a little bit easier. And there's a cursed chest. Damn it. Come on, at least kill one of them. Can I catch up? Can I can I catch up? Damn it! Oh, I almost caught him. Alright, well shit. I need to really work on killing me some goblins. I also forgot that I went up to a uh, torment too. If this I was back on master, I probably would have been okay with killing them. Damn it, I forgot I upped to torment. I guess that means I'm not ready for torment, huh? Yep, shit. I'm gonna get fucked. Okay, come on. We can get out of this. I just need to drop my difficulty back down. Definitely not ready for torment. Oh! Why did you get bigger? That thing just got bigger. At least I get, I'm getting more death spreads. That's cool. And I leveled up. But we're going to lower the difficulty anyways. Not ready for this yet. Ooh! Oh, damn it. Blizzard. D -d 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 Plus 14% blizzard damage. Not disintegrate. I am keeping an eye out for disintegrate. Like that. Plus 8%. Um, sweet. Alright. Disintegrate's got a little bit more power behind it now. And then there was a chest down here that I want to go take a look at real quick. Oh, and you. I didn't even get to kill you because I was chasing that damn goblin around. If I didn't die in here, I would have been able to keep that goblin and his uh, spawn in this little, this little alcove and just probably have murdered them. But that's just not the way it worked out, unfortunately. How is everybody... On the stream. You guys are quite silent tonight. Or this evening. Whatever you want to say. Call it. How is everybody? George, I know you're watching. But you're playing Diablo 3. So uh, you get a pass. Though, I mean, if you have a chance to say what's up. Then what is up? What are you up to in the game? The rest of you. Mute if you're still there. Lord Amonkus if you're still there. How are you two, I assume, gentlemen, doing? If you're not, please correct me and I apologize if you are. I could guess right. Yay. Mm. So my AP does seem to be all right with uh, Black Hole. Which is good. That's the point. And my Disintegrate's doing a little bit more damage now because of the extra 8% that it's got. That'll be a good uh, bonus before I can get to... Before I can swap everything out. Also, I don't need Prodigy anymore. I just now realized I don't have a, a primary builder anymore. So, what do I swap out that for? Also not quite there yet, but let's do let's do absolute zero. So super massive. I need so I've got I need to swap blur eventually for temporal flux. Or maybe not. Mm, it depends. Uh, audacity. That's what I could use. Audacity. I don't have audacity yet. Let's do unwa unwavering will then. Standing still for a second and a half increases the following attributes. Armor plus 20%, all resistance plus 20%, and damage plus 20%. We'll keep... Well, actually, I kind of I need to keep astral presence. So unwavering, unwavering will and astral presence are my two passive skills. Audacity and temporal flux are the next uh, suggested passives. 
Audacity, I will probably go for. Temporal Flux, however, I probably won't go for, which is enemies that take arcane damage are slowed by 80% for two seconds. Um, I'll probably keep Blur, uh, at least until I can get a decent uh, pool of health or armor, because that is 18% damage resistance that I could certainly use. Alright, so whatever we gotta come kill. Oh, the Mysterious Cave, that's what we gotta go into. I want to go up here real quick because I want to see if I can kill me a key warden. Oh, wait. I took it off of Torment. He's not going to drop the key anymore. Damn it. I forgot I did that. Uh, bastards. Well, okay, I got, I, they didn't hurt me that hard, or, yeah, whatever, words. Damn it! I just got, <laughs> I just got a disintegrate damage plus 8% helmet, but now this hat is way better. Obviously, I want the extra 8% in disintegrate, but my gear isn't finalized, so obviously more toughness recovery, and then... Uh, you know, an extra almost 4% damage. It's still, I'm only losing about 4% disintegrate damage, but I would ideally love to have also disintegrate on stuff uh, just to make things go a little e easier. Um, let's swap you out. Okay. Let's head on up to this key warden. At the very least, it'll be a boss to kill. Uh, it'll be extra experience, but I don't believe he's going to drop a key for me now. Okay, Key Warden. Ooh! More experience! Yay! Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. Or, rather, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a key from him. But I dropped down from Torment to Master. But experience is good. And it's also nice to know that that purple uh, arrow turned up right when I got up on the map. So when I am farming these guys later uh, for those keys so I can get Hellfire equipment... We'll be good. Also, again, normally you want to go for two-handed weaponry because your AP cost will your your AP will drain slower. However, this one-handed one is 27% stronger than my two-handed mace. So I'm definitely gonna equip that plus a source since I have my second hand now open. Uh, normally I wouldn't be doing this really later on. Um, and this may completely throw off my AP regeneration. Uh, this may may throw off the whole build. We'll find that out. And if it doesn't, I'll just be doing extra damage for the time being until I can get a really powerful two-handed weapon. You look like you're in need of help. <laughs> okay, you're probably not going to make it. Sorry to say. Ooh, another pool of reflection. Nice. More experience. I also got to remember to stop doing that. I should also probably actually just swap black hole and disintegrate. That's why I keep accidentally hitting disintegrate. Or black hole instead of disintegrate. Hmm. 
Okay, let's swap disintegrate and black hole. I'm not even up to event horizon. Damn. Black hole was a skill that was added in. And I just, I did the opposite this time. Damn it. Um, black hole was a skill that was added in the expansion. And it's probably one of my favorite skills for the wizard. I just think it's really cool. Damn it. I was like, yeah, let's swap the, the skills because I keep accidentally doing I keep accidentally doing black hole instead of disintegrate to break things. Well, now I'm just doing black hole constantly. I kept telling myself second button, second button. But then I swapped them and now I'm screwed myself again. Because of course, why not? That's how things go, I guess. Ow, ow, ow. Gotta get out of here. Or just freeze them, actually, I guess. Freezing them works. All right, kill all the enemies in the mysterious cave too. That I can do, and there should be a resplendent chest down here as well. Blam! All right, where's that chest? If there is. There should be one. It should be near the teleporter. Or not. It must be over in here. There's usually a, a glowy chest in here. That's what I want to find. It's usually resplendent. Resplendent chests are beautiful and nice. And they give lots of gold. And uh, it's usually decent items. They have a higher percent chance of dropping a decent item or two. There we go. Nice. Actually, I got a, a regular glowy chest and a resplendent chest. I'll take it. I don't know if I got anything decent. Another wand that's actually better than what I have. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. And nothing particularly better. Not even for my follower. Okay. Full inventory. Let's go back to town and degub all of the shit. This act is also taking a little bit longer than I expected. But uh, when this is done, we'll head on over to uh, Eternal uh, Fellatio. Okay. Break, break. And I wish that these items still had a use in the game. They don't really anymore, which kind of sucks. So I'm just going to plop that down here. All right. I think we got three more bounties to do. Yes. All right. Desolate Sands, here we come. I'm going to fuck you up. I am. Okay, well, that's a bunch of poison on the ground. <laughs> Alright, activate the ancient devices in the desolate sands. Well, give me some arrows, please. I don't want this to take 30 minutes just on one, on one damn bounty. Ah, if you're still listening, George, <clears throat> congrats on getting all your achievements. But I can't say that they're well earned because you had somebody carry you to get them. So, I mean, you still earned them technically, but you did it like a bitch. Just saying. And my cat snoring again. If you guys want to hear my cat snore on my channel is a video of him snoring. It's actually really cute. It's a little quiet, so you gotta turn it up, but, um, he's a cute kitty. He's, uh, he's right behind me. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I can not fuck this up. Uh, 
Yep, there he is. Yep, he's uh, asleep. Uh, likes to sleep on our clothes. Damn it, I gotta put this back. That is heavy with one hand and not holding on to it, right? Just using my 10 inch Kindle to be a webcam for me. But Kitty's back there. He's cute. He's snoring. <clears throat> he's not being a jerk and scratching at things and meowing at me while I stream, which is a good thing, I guess. All right, there's an arrow. I actually didn't even see the damn arrow. <clears throat> what are you? Empowered Shrine. I'll actually like you in a minute. Damn it. What do I get? Uh, it's either a chance of a chest or mobs or a body full of money. What? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. But thank you for the body full of money game. Hmm. All right. Another arrow going down. Okay, that thing just came out of a jar. What the hell? Is this a is this like a little mini quest or thing like randomly in the world? Destroy the things out of the jars. Are you going to be an epic or a uh, Ooh, you are. The blade spinner, Pazuzu. Pazuzu. It reminds me of uh Futurama actually. And the uh, Professor's gargoyle named Pazuzu. Alright, here we are. And, of course, you've got chains and you leave flames on the ground. Of course you do. Because you couldn't be easy. Or you didn't... You could have been easy, but of course you're not. And you explode. Alright, chest... Mobs or another body? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? A mob. Mobs, which are all already dead. And then let's get uh, Event Horizon on. Actually, mm, fuck it. We'll just do Event Horizon for now. I was going to say we'll keep the rune on Black Hole, but it doesn't really matter. None of them are really what we want to actually use until level 69, so. That's irrelevant. And at least now it's uh, arcane damage again instead of uh, ice damage. All right, what do you get? What are you going to give me? Please be a chest or something good. Wheel of misfortune. Veiled treasure. Okay, I got an achievement for that one. Let's see what the hell is inside. A tomb of treasure, I presume. Maybe, maybe a goblin or two. A goblin horde. That'd be awesome. And Kitty's still snoring. It is really cute. It's just, damn, he snores loud sometimes. Though, yesterday, the, for the first time ever, I finally took a, a video of it. And, of course, he wasn't snoring all that loud. That or the the vol the microphone on the Kindle is either not that great or muffled by the case that I have on it. Or, you know, he's just super quiet. The hell just yeehawed at me. Oh, it's you. Okay. Nice, and I froze him in place. 
It is hard to... You can freeze goblins in place. It is hard to do, but you, you can do it. Get back here. Goblin fuck. And another resplendent chest. Nice. A goblin and two resplendents. Ooh, and he dropped some, uh, actually pretty decent things that I needed, which is always a good thing. And no legendary. Sad face. George, you said you wanted to watch the stream uh, to learn stuff. I mean, I, I guess I don't know why you want to learn anything from me. I, probably not that great of a teacher however are, are you learning anything from watching me play hearing me play is it as good or as bad as you thought it was gonna be <laughs> okay one more portal to activate or device to activate. Hopefully it leads to another portal like that. That was pretty cool. A, ch a chest straight up by itself would be awesome. But another uh, treasure vault would be cool too. As always, it has, as it's, it has a chance of spawning. Anytime you change maps, you have a chance of spawning goblins. So if, you have got, if you're in an act with a bunch of, I of doors that you can go in. And little areas that you can go in that are small. And then obviously things spawn in you have a chance of getting a goblin every single time so there are ways to increase the chance that goblins spawn or how many times goblins spawn uh, so I wouldn't mind another portal but also it was a treasure tomb so even potentially the developers may even give a map like types of maps uh, a better chance to spawn goblins I think a treasure room would probably be one of those maps. If they do, I don't know for sure if they do or not, though. Getting lots of death's breaths. That I like. Bam, bam, bam. I also need to keep doing level or act one. Bounties? Well, fine, Silver. I see how it is. I'm not entertaining enough for you to watch, but you'll pop in every now and again to see if I've died. Ooh, and you're an elite. Even better for mobs. Guardian of the Veiled Treasure. Ooh, so you might drop something good. Nope. <laughs> you dropped shit, actually. Ah, uh, okay. All right, that explains what you were doing. Oh, I'll give you a pass for that, but don't let me catch you do it again. I'm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, ooh, I got a, a royal uh, book. Bam. Wait, no. Recording does not is not does not take your priority. I'm your priority, God. Though we talked about this, I thought you loved me. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Whatever you can record. I'm not. I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. I'll just find somebody better. It's cool. It's cool. Kij I know Kajiri loves me more. Kajiri, Kajiri, Kajiri said that, that we could be together forever. I don't need you. I don't need you, Silver. Oh, Christina, she's doing fine. Um, she's at work right now. She gets off at about 10 o'clock. She's doing good. Uh, she's, she's getting more hours. She's getting a raise too, which is nice. That'll be helpful because we need a new car now. Uh, our car broke down, but her mom got a new car because her, her mom's car sucks balls. Uh, so we were able to use the ball sucking car, which was her mom's old car. But now we've actually just run that one into the ground and we've also broken that one. So we've kind of broken two cars, but our car can be fixed.
but her stepdad is kind of broken. He had back surgery, so he can't really work on the car all that easily. And it's been raining. Honestly, we did nothing to the cars. They just were shitty. They were not that great of cars when they bought them. They were cheap, though, also when they bought them. So, I mean, they're just cars from like the late 80s, early 90s. They're just old ass cars. We finally broke down her mom's like to the point where it threw up oil all, all over Christina. She was checking the oil and putting water in the car. So she turned it on, popped the hood because we have to it overheats easily. So she was putting water in there, checking everything, making sure it was good. And it just vomited oil all over her. So <laughs> we, I had to, I, I'm since I'm at home all the time. I work from home, but since I'm home most of the time, um, I do, I do like dishes and laundry and things like that. So I had to soak her work clothes. I had to soak them in stain remover. And then I had to, I had to put them through the washing machine with soap like four times just to get the oil smell out. And I got the oil stains out too. So our stain remover works really well. If you spray the entire thing down and soak it, our car can get fixed. Um, it's better than her mom's, but it is also old. It's like 200,000 miles and it's from like the mid nineties. It runs actually pretty well considering how old it is, but it is also still old. So we do need a car anyways, but our car ran really well. We just kind of took it two hours away to Eugene and then two hours back, uh, right when we got home, not while we were on our way home. The second we got home from that trip, Got it up into our driveway even, and our driveway is super steep. Got it up, in, didn't get to park it yet, but it was up the driveway. Immediately died. <laughs> so it waited till we got home, up the driveway, and then died on us. Um, it's a, We think it's electrical work that needs to be done, but it's been raining. Pat's been broken, so it's just been kind of a, a messy, a messy situation. I'm working. I'm working now, though. Uh, I'm actually making pretty decent money. Uh, two of you, if you are still in the chat, or if some of you are in the chat, Lord Monkus and uh, Mute are actually from the forums of where I work. Essentially, I do content management for my friend Jason in our software or his software, Launchbox. Um, I do content production on YouTube. I manage the website, the forums, the Bitbucket, and all that good stuff. So. I mean, I'm making pretty decent money doing that, actually, and uh, that's something, but it's only like a total of 54 hours a month, so I'm also doing freelance video editing and all that good stuff, but just, we also wanted to move, so the move is going to have to be postponed again. We have a credit card that we need to pay off because we're like, oh, sweet credit card, we can get some things that we've been needing to get. There's no interest on it till October. This is awesome. Let's do this. Well, that card needs to get paid off. So that's like 1800 bucks that we need to pay off before October. If we don't, we'll get hit with a shit ton of uh, interest. And then now we need to save up like 2000 bucks so that we can finance a car. We could save up like, well, a thousand to 1500, which will be about two or three months of just me working. And then the rest will just get shoveled into the credit card. But, uh, Oh no, I hate using credit card. Whenever we, uh, whenever we used it beforehand, we only ever used the, what we had so that I could build my credit on purpose. Uh, but there was some things that we needed to get and Sony offered me a card with no interest for a year. So we'll be fine. We just need to pay it off. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's literally the only reason why we even considered it was literally no interest. So you know, we kind of had to do it. Um, we didn't have too much of a choice. I didn't want to, don't get me wrong. I don't willingly want to use credit, but we'll be fine. Uh, I also don't want to finance a card. I, our car either, but we really don't have a choice. I, we legitimately don't have a choice. We don't have the time to be able to save up like 3,000, 4,000 bucks to go get a car. Uh. 
All right. That's good, Lord Monkus. You're not the only one who complains of my stream consistently uh, buffering. Um, another one of, uh, one of my regulars, Kajiri, one of my best friends now, actually. Um, he, whenever he watches my streams, he's constantly buffering, too. But, uh, yeah, you know, money, troubles. Hopefully, I can get... Yeah, I don't know. Banks are weird when it comes to that shit. If, uh, I mean, so I'm freelance editing. I actually have to get back to this girl who wants me to edit some of her videos for her. Uh, that's 15 bucks an hour. Um, uh, she's, oh, so she pays me about 15 bucks an hour to freelance edit it, to freelance edit for her through Upwork. Jason, uh, probably shouldn't publicly say how much he pays me, but he pays me around... He pays me a good amount of money, way more than minimum wage. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but that's only like 54 hours a month. So at max, I can make like 800 bucks a month. And then I have to take 15% out for taxes. So whatever that amount is. Um, so that really only leaves two sources of income. And Upwork is only if somebody actually picks me as their freelancer. So... Hopefully I can start making a little bit more money with YouTube. I've been, I've been partnered with YouTube. I have a cha I have a network that I'm attached to for the last two years. I've been making content on YouTube for like seven years. Hopefully that will, I can see a big uptick in that and make a little bit of money doing that. And then hopefully I can get partnered with Twitch. I mean, it's not, it's a pipe dream, but you know, I would like to be able to, to do that at some point, uh, make money on Twitch and YouTube. That would be really awesome on top of what I make with Jason and on what, it, with what I would make freelancing. Hopefully I'll be able to be all right. I didn't kind of want to join my network, but I joined Maker Studios, which is a really fantastic network, which I actually knew before I um, was really looking, uh, but they protect me actually. I don't get nailed with content ID as much as uh, somebody else would. Uh, YouTube doesn't fuck with my channel. I've never been disabled for 30 days for monetization where Jason, our channel actually got hit with that due to uh, Google disabled our monetization for 30 days. So now out of fear, because we cannot lose our channel, we just don't monetize anything on there. So what little money we could gain from it, we're not gaining anything from. And, um, my channel also gives me free, awesome music. They give me a couple of websites that would normally charge money either per use or per like a yearly fee. I get all that stuff for free. So um, considering I don't make much, so they in turn don't make much off of me. Um, I get these expensive services for free. It's kind of a win-win in my book. And I get a little bit of uh, mob protection from Google. It's literally like being in a fucking mob. They... Uh, they got an offer that they can't, re I can't refuse, you know, like it's a, it's a fucking mob essentially, but, uh, it works. They protect me. Uh, I get a couple of perks out of it. And if they, um, have any, like recently I per, I took part in a sponsored video for, um, Square Enix, which was authored through my network. And I, it was like a competition thing. Three people were going to win like 500 bucks. 10 people were going to win a hundred and then 20 were going to win like 25 bucks. And I won the, the hundred bucks out of that. So, I mean, if a, a situation like that comes up, being in a network is also beneficial that way. It's kind of nice. That's the point, Lord Monkus. That's another reason why we don't particularly bother with ad revenue on the uh, Launchbox YouTube channel. Um, we don't ad revenue. You don't make a lot of money, but the thing with ad revenue is that it's always there. So if you have a popular video and you get decent amount of views every month, you could have made that, that, that video a year ago, you'd still technically be making money on it. So while it's a pitiful amount, the more videos you have, um, the, the, the bigger the catalog just means that's that's more you're proccing the amount of money that you do make that much more often. And, uh, you know, you can make a you can make money on a video that you did a year ago or two weeks ago. So it's kind of a thing that's always going. 
Um, but the problem is nowadays is that people use ad blocker. The positive though is YouTube Red. I'm waiting to ho and hoping that people pay 10 bucks a month to YouTube for YouTube Red. Because if you are a channel that is monetized making money, if somebody watches your video and they're on YouTube Red, you make a way higher percentage than you would if they uh, were to watch your ad. Essentially, YouTube Red strips away ads, you get free access to Google Music. Uh, so if you have like an Android phone, you get access to Google Music for free with YouTube Red. They've got uh, original content. Uh, go watch a laser team uh, from from um, Rooster Teeth. Awesome movie. If you've got YouTube Red, you can go watch it for free. Awesome movie. Go watch it. And um, if they take away ads. So if you aren't somebody who uses ad block, which please don't, it fucking ruins small channels like Jason and myself. It fucking ruins us. Um, if you don't use ad block, but you don't want ads, try YouTube Red and they'll take away ads. It's only like 10 bucks a month. You get a couple of perks with it. Uh, and there's a 30 day free trial. Go watch laser team. It's an awesome movie. And then watch my stuff and, uh, launch box stuff with YouTube Red. We, if it does well, they project like a 30% increase in income, which would be amazing if it works right now. It's still in the stage of it may or may not work, but you know, Puh. anyways, guys, uh, we're going to switch on over to eternal fellatio. Um, I did the bounties that I wanted to do probably went a, a little over an hour or under an hour, a little over an hour, actually like an hour and a half. Um, I'm going to go take a break real quick. Yeah. Silver, you're going to go get food. I'm going to go eat real quick myself. I got to pee. Dinner might be done. Um, I'm just going to go eat real quick. I'll be back and then we'll play eternal Felina. So I'll see you guys in about 10, 15 minutes and we'll have some hilarity to ensue. Then thank you guys for watching the first leg of today's stream. Be back in 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll see you then.